I liked it though. I woke up, walked outside for a second with no shirt on. Really woke myself up. Did you yell at the top of your lungs? Mm-hmm. Well, not really. Ah, <laughs> good dog. morning. Something was up yesterday in my backyard. There was, I'm pretty sure it was a police light. Two houses down for me. It was shining oh. back and forth. And I was like, stinks, get in here because it was so dark. And I didn't want somebody to steal stinks because, you know, he's a hot commodity. So <laughs> he, he blends into the night. Yeah, you know what he does. And it's scary, dude. And I only have like one little light. So I did see him as they were taking the flashlight going across. I was like, get in here, boy. Come here, boy. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Because the one time somebody did get arrested right in my backyard. Oof. Yeah. Did I tell you about that? Your backyard's a hot commodity. I I vaguely remember that. Refresh me. This dude was running through my backyard. Stinks was outside. And I heard this commotion. There was a lady yelling at the... uh, at the laundromat, you could hear, and then all of a sudden, these two cops run down the side of my house, and you're like, and tackle this dude right in my backyard, all the way by my tree in the corner. And Stinks comes running, and he hides behind me because he's a wimp. He's scared. Yeah, he's scared, <laughs> dude. They arrested him, and it was just like a 20 minute fiasco to try to get him in the car. Wow. Yeah, it was like the lady was like, "My boyfriend's trying to kill me." Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was a it was a big old donk of the day yeah. right there. Where you're like, Yikes. "Hey, dude," as <laughs> he like, ran by. What's up? <laughs> hey, do you rap? <laughs> I got a fat beat going on here. <laughs> you want to oh come in and lay down some lines? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I, I really think that there was a police officer in my yard. But what? <laughs> Sorry, dudes. You know, way to bring it down on a light note. I was kind of right. hungover yesterday. I'm ready to go. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, Justin Timberlake tickets this morning if you want to win them for his concert. Now less than two weeks away at the Pfizer Forum. You can do that this morning at around 840. We'll play $1,000 Minute, 605, 705, and 805. And imagine suing your employers for not getting a farewell card. Been there. <laughs> wow, you guys would get sued a lot right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Zing. my gosh. Well, we'll uh, we'll hear about this story. Awkward. And a we'll true them one. Karen coming up here on WIXX. <laughs> Four, five, three. What? Oh, and Corey. Thanks, Pete. 40 degrees right now at 518 with Taylor Swift. Without you. So that's new music from a guy named John K on WIXX at 523 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. And he was a guy singing the national anthem at the Packers so game good. on Sunday. What's Man, he really did crush it. I love how this is from a uh, listener Nathan's cell phone. You can hear the, the raindrops in the back. Oh, yeah. kind of. Well, you can. Yeah. Oh, the raindrops we watch. So were you guys there when he warmed up or he did he had to do the rehearsal like at nine in the morning? Well, can I let you know that baby Hayes was late? Okay. Oh, he was? <laughs> yeah. And what well, we didn't Don't have, tell the boss that. No, no, no. This it, it's <laughs> because I was freaking out because I thought we could get down on stage to, or down on the field, but they only had three passes anyway. So Oh, okay. Yeah, I was I was rushing. Well, I called him at nine o'clock in the morning. Hey, let's meet at ten thirty. He hadn't even gotten out of bed yet, so I'm telling, I'm telling on you, a- IT guy Hayes. <laughs> we can call him the IT guy if he's late for that. Yeah, for sure. No, but, but anyway, everything was cool. I, I yeah. dude, John K is such a sweetie. Yeah, nice such guy, sweetie. very down to earth, and uh, obviously a very, very talented singer. Hopefully, he got home to Orlando, where his uh, house now had power after six days dude, or whatever. He said, he said four days, and his his house is raised up a little. So it, there was only a little bit of flooding, but nothing got. Thank goodness. Yeah, yeah thank so. goodness. Well, I'm glad Orlando didn't get hit that hard in all areas. I mean, yeah. they got a lot of rain, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, I'll be heading there next month. So I was hoping <laughs> my vacation wouldn't get washed away. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, cool. Good story, Corey. Good story, Corey. Here. 525 here with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. It's uh, chilly out this morning. It's about 40 degrees. With that freeze warning coming tonight, it's going to be even chillier. 49 will be our high temp today. Here's Dash's Austin on WIXX. It's 
101 WIXX with Jelly Roll and MGK. It's 531. Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. I want you to think of this for a minute, okay? You leave your job, whether, I don't know, you get fired or you just leave. Would it be worse? Would it be worse to get no farewell card or a farewell card that was signed by like two or three people when you work with a much larger group of people? Like, what so would you feel worse about? So is this people knowing that you're going to leave? Yes. Okay, so it's already premeditated. Yeah. Okay. So how many have you signed in the last year? Come on. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> You're on one today. I uh, when I, I I got fired from Seattle and I was only there for like five months or probably like three months. I was only five months clean, but I was so mad about why I got fired that it was almost Christmas time. So when I was at a family Christmas, I had my dad wrap my hand up in, <laughs> in just like a fist of of uh, of wrapping paper. Yeah. And I said, Merry Christmas. I got your present. <laughs> oh, my Wait, that's goodness. what you said back to your employers? Yeah. It was, I was already fired. So, oh, did you say? send like a message to yeah, him? Yeah, it was just a text message. Hey, <laughs> thanks for all your time. I got something for you. Wrapped it myself. Yeah. Why well, <laughs> you come and open it? <laughs> I think it depends on if you, how long you've been at that job. And if, like, I'm not going to lie. If I, if you guys knew I was leaving and y'all didn't, say anything to me, I would be upset, but then I'd be like, maybe it's me. Yeah, what did you do? <laughs> Break down the scenario of let's go through the last eight months. <laughs> Buckle up. Well, there's a woman and uh, she got laid off from her job in the UK. She worked for the parent company of British Airwaves and she filed a claim against them arguing they breached an equality law. It gets deeper than this, but part of the story is that she was mad that she didn't get a farewell card. Um, That's so entitled. Like, you are well, not entitled to a farewell card. Now, an employee tribunal looked into it, whatever that is, an employment tribunal, I guess a, an independent group that kind of studies these cases to sure. see who has a case or not, discovered that the company had a card for her, but only two or three people were willing to sign it, so they opted not to give it to her, figuring that, that her card, uh, giving her that card was worse than not giving her a card at all. Dude, some people just didn't like her, you know? Those three people liked her. You know what I'm saying? Three. Or yeah. they were just nice. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. And it sounds like as as the story continues, and I won't bore you with it, but it basically says that she has had different things over the years that she has um, been like. Reprimanded. Yeah. Reprimanded and kind of in fights with her coworkers about. <laughs> Instead of farewell, it should have been a see ya. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been a goodbye. <laughs> like, is, there, is there a different farewell tone cards? Like, yeah. Glad you're going. See you later. Jeez. My my sister almost opened a business and she was set into doing this. My sister is kind of, she's kind of looks at things in like the negative light all the time. She's opposite of me. And she almost started her own, um, shut up. She, <laughs> she only started her, uh, uh, she almost started a card company called Card Snark, where it was snarky cards. And she had written hundreds of them. Oh, fun. And like there was a person that was going to invest and start putting the cards in stores because it was exactly what you said. Right. Instead of a farewell card, oh, we're going to miss you. It was like, well, glad to see you going. You were kind of a jerk anyway. You suck. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but it was, it was it was written much more passive aggressively. So she didn't go through it? No. Oh. I, she probably has all of them. I should see if she could give them to us. They'd be kind of funny to read, read on the air. Yeah. yeah. That's actually, you know, I used to write greeting cards and I used to write astrology because when you're, oh dude, boy. No, no, because in Portland. You I, should write our astrology one day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it was an old dude and he left the company for the Portland Gazette and they were like, hey, do you want to write some of these? And it was like 20 bucks a astrology. But I mean, this whole time I look at the paper. For my horoscope, but it's, it's like just it's some from, old man yes. r- writing it in his kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Making stuff up, basically. Yes. And I'm like, oh, I'll find my, maybe that's why I never found my love life. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Masks it is. <laughs> uh, 535, here's the best kicker of this story. Guess what this woman's first name is? Uh, Karen. Yep. Oh! <laughs> WIXX and Builder's first source are... <laughs> 542, Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on 101 WIXX with Teddy Swims. It is chilly out today. I had to bust out the winter jacket. Did you guys bust out your winter jackets oh, quite yeah. yet? And yeah. vest. And, and vest. blanket. <laughs> She's, if you if you think of Natalie right now, she kind of looks like Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of like Yeah, Han she does. Han Solo season. Oh, hey, do you guys recognize anything? New uh, chin? Oh, no arm brace? No thing. arm brace. So you officially got it off or you're just slacking again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yesterday I went to Dr. Vaughn's office. Shout out to all the nurses as well. 
and I got my x-ray and the bone is disintegrated. And Dr. Vaughn was like, you're kind of a a medical mystery because it might have been calcium deposits too <laughs> that was in the x-ray. So it's like a two for one. Something so what was are they wrong. saying? That that wasn't bone fragment? No, it was. The- no, oh. it was. It was It was also bone. Like I definitely did have a tra- traumatic injury. Yes. But because I have full range of motion and not a lot of pain, he was like, you can... Take off the brace. You don't have to wear the brace anymore. But I still have to do like PT with Aaron, yeah. who's my physical therapist, who's awesome, for at least a couple months. And yeah, so no heavy lifting. I can't do bench presses, you know, guys, because yeah, I was really, you, I was really doing pulling you that. Love the bench presses. My three hundreds over here. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Did he call you a what? A medical what? Mystery. A medical mystery. That's something that we needed for her to hear. <laughs> <laughs> nice ego boost a for her. I'm a medical mystery. No, I don't want to be a medical mystery. I'm you're already mis- weird. Yeah, you're a mystery for sure. <laughs> yeah. So uh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I don't have to wear the brace but I still you know we were talking about it being part of a Halloween costume so I think I'm going to keep it and I think we should hang it here in the studio. The brace? Yeah just in case. This is all that's left of Natalie. (laughs) It's just a brace. (laughs) No soul no heart just a Black a hollow brace. Brace. <laughs> it's the hollow brace. Uh, all hollows brace. Yeah. Is that lame? Oh. You get a dong. <laughs> all right, it's 544, Huggy, Natalie, and Corey, and Dua Lipa on WIXX. 101 WIXX, Hosier, too sweet. <laughs> it's 550. It's Huggy, Natalie, and Corey as you get up and get ready for work today. Uh, it is cold out. You probably want to maybe even grab the winter jacket this morning. It's only 40. There is a freeze warning expected for tonight, so it's going to get even colder uh, throughout the day. De- not throughout the day today, but, t- but tonight it'll be colder tomorrow morning at this time. So uh, we'll have Pete's full forecast details coming up in just a couple of minutes here on WIXX. Here are overused phrases you should avoid at work. Let's see how annoyed you are when I say these things. Oh, let's see who like, says what. Um, synergy. Huh? Synergy. Like, like we have good synergy going on this We've morning. We've never Huggy said and, that. Huggy and Natalie and Corey have good synergy in the morning. Did anybody ever say that? No. Never once. Probably because we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, they say that that is an annoying word that people, that's overused at the workplace. You should stop saying synergy. Instead, you should say things like collaboration or it's a team effort. <laughs> <laughs> team effort just seems so. Here we go. She's a medical phenomenon and now she just <laughs> isn't the one to be on the team. <laughs> no, I just feel yeah. like team is so insincere. We are a team. No, I know. But what was the term again? Synergy. No. <laughs> the other team, one. The, the one with team in it. Team effort. Team effort. <laughs> it's a team effort, guys. I just feel like a, yeah. a guy from the office saying that. I know or what you're office saying. space. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like it's over that one's kind of overused yeah, too. Yeah. Like let me get with my team and I'll get back to you. I, I'd I be don't like, know. let me get with dumb and dumber and figure it out. Yeah. I'll Us. get with the, I'll get with the, the two idiots I work with and get back to you. That's a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> the radio friendly version. What week is it? Yeah, well, Corey's week this week, yeah, obviously. Um, the other one, another one is circle back. Like, let me circle back on this. We'll, th- let's circle back on this. Okay, is that like a Midwest thing? I feel like circle back is a Midwest. Is thing. it? I don't know. I've never really been outside the Midwest. You were in Texas for a while in New York City. People don't say that there. No, and I remember in New York, I said, "I'll circle back with you," and they said, "Around the block." <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And, and they were like, like, "What?" Yeah, we were both just kind of looking at each other, like. Both of us are idiots to each other. Oh, so maybe it is a Midwest thing. Yeah, maybe. In Texas, like, take the saddlebags around the corner. <laughs> Over yonder. <laughs> Over yonder. Man, take Texas it up was the a hill. weird time. Um, instead, you should say things like, let's revisit it or I'll check back in. I feel like I say those things more than circle yeah. back. I've you never, say I'll check back I've in. never said that or heard you say that. Circle back. Because if you're in your office, doesn't matter what you're doing, I'm busting in. <laughs> That's there's, true. Yeah, there's not. Hey, why don't you why don't y'all circle back there, Huggy? Too late. <laughs> Too late. I'm sitting in your office. Um, how about the one uh, we use sometimes? Move the needle. I don't know if that's really oh. going to move the needle. Yeah, some of our people use that. I've never heard it. that. Move the needle. Like- I mean, I've heard that, but not here. Yeah. Um, instead, instead, <laughs> they they uh, experts say you should try to uh, use phrases like 
influence outcomes or advance our goals. That's dumb. Yeah, <laughs> How many seems... times you gonna throw up today? Medical phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to advance my goal here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you better start moving the needle, otherwise, woof. When I hear moving the needle, my chest hurts because I I think of like a scale. <laughs> <sighs> You oh, gotta no. move the nail. Poor tr- the needle. Or- <laughs> <laughs> Poor traumatized Natalie. That's I know, terrible. Dude. I mean, I honestly, I feel bad now. You always feel bad. Hey, why did you I feel? feel- <laughs> why did you move the needle there, Natalie? Take a step over here. <laughs> no, she wants it to go backwards. Yeah, he'd forward. be like, <laughs> make it so the needle doesn't move. <laughs> um, and then finally, low hanging fruit. <laughs> Apparently, we're not supposed to use a low hanging fruit. <laughs> Is that where your mind immediately goes? Yeah. Yes. I immediately wanted to say, I'll give you some low-hanging fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one I do not like. What's low-hanging fruit mean? Like it's right there ready for you to grab. Easy so, like, wins, teasing. simple tasks. Like, um, I don't know, I'm trying to give an example here at work that what would be low-hanging fruit would just be something really easy. Something super easy to do. Something that doesn't require a lot of effort that anybody could really do. Oh, uh, <laughs> Why am I job. looking at you? <laughs> so I thought low-hanging fruit would be like something that you want. I don't know. No. Mm-mm. That's like the carrot dangling. I right? yeah, carrot hate dangling. the word content. I hate it, dude. Why? I just don't. That one, an influencer. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to yeah. go out there and be an influencer. Make a lot of content. I don't like that. Yeah, well, we, we do hear that baby a lot Hayes. in our job. Yeah. <laughs> that is totally. <laughs> that is. Let's hear what, how does baby Hayes say? <laughs> That's, you got to make some content. <laughs> <laughs> you sound just like you really do. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, we've got some great content coming up here on the morning show. With Huggy, I'm Natalie, and Corey. Goodbye. Leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Huggy's leaving. We're going to uh, replay $1,000 minute here at 6 <laughs> <laughs> 605. Listen. And uh, this morning at 740, a note to Nat. We're going to need your help on, too. So make sure you stick around for that on WIXX, waking up with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. W- Thanks, Pete. It is chilly this morning. It's 40 right now in Green Bay, WIXX. We're going to heat things up, though, here on the morning show. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have uh, Justin Timberlake tickets for you to win. Spicy. Woo! Yeah, Justin Timberlake tickets all week long. 8.40 will be your shot to go for free here less than two weeks away at Five Sur Forum. I drive back and forth on 41. 101 WIXX, Sabrina Carpenter coming up on 6.05. It's 40 degrees with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on WIXX. Thanks to Colasso Toyota of Appleton. On 101 WIXX. <laughs> We've got Sherry on the line from Fond du Lac. Good morning, Sherry. How are you? I am living the dream. How are you? I like that. I like to hear that. Living the dream. Living the dream. Your dream will get even better if you win $1,000 in 60 seconds. We've got these 10 questions in front of us. All you got to do is answer them. If you don't know the answer, just say pass, and we'll skip past it. We'll come back to it as time allows. If you get them all correct in 60, you win. Now, we've had uh, two consecutive days of $1,000 minute winners. Let's see if we can make it three. (laughs) Sherry and Fonda. No pressure. No pressure at all. Coming down in three, two, one, go. Margaret Thatcher was prime minister of what country? Uh, pass. What local high school did NBA star Tyrese Halliburton attend? Pass. What year was Mount Rushmore completed? Uh, Mount Rushmore 41. Nice. Trans Siberian Orchestra's most well known song refers to what city in Bosnia? Uh, pass. What is 22 times 5? 22 times 5 is 110. What kind of animal was Mr. Ed? Horse. Spell orchestra. O-R-C-H-E-S-T-R-A. Which boy band from Orlando, Florida released their self-titled debut album in 1997 featuring hits like Quit Playing Games With My Heart? Um... Backstreet Boys. 60, yeah, we'll, we'll give it to her. We'll give it to her. We'll give it to her. All right. Trans Siberian Orchestra. Most well known song refers to what song in a Bosnian city? That's Unsengunsen. <laughs> it's Sarajevo. Sarajevo. Yeah, that's Sarajevo. what I meant. Sarajevo, my wave hose. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what local high school did NBA star Ty- Tyrese Halliburton attend? That's Oshkosh North. And let me go ahead and bust out my beans on toast. Margaret Thatcher naked on a, whole, a cold day. Margaret Thatcher naked on a cold day. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the Prime Minister of Great Britain the or the United Kingdom will accept England, too. Wanna- 
101 WIXX, Diplo, Jesse Murph, Polo G at 617 with Huggy and Natalie and Corey on WIXX. Chilly start to the day, only 40 degrees right now, which in one way is kind of good because it's starting to feel more like the holiday season. And I know it's not even Halloween yet, so you might be mad at me for saying that. But Trans-Siberian Orchestra's Lost Christmas Eve show is going to be here in less than a month. Lights, lasers, leather <laughs> pants. Lights, lasers, and leather pants. That's my next album, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what it is. It's a hard rock and like concert experience. It's not nothing really to do with an orchestra. They call themselves an orchestra, but it's not a traditional orchestra. And they're not from Siberia. No, they are not. But it is uh, definitely not. a Christmas show you will not soon forget. And if you'd like to win tickets for this, which is coming up November 13th, by the way, at the Rush Center, two shows, two and seven o'clock. Listen to 10 o'clock trivia this morning with Andy Gardner. And again, uh, let's see, with Biff during the top nine at nine tonight, we'll have chances to win those tickets here exclusively on WIXX. I get up. Here we go. 101 WIXX 620 with Huggy and Natalie and Corey and Robert Kennedy joining us from the WTAQ newsroom, full with winter jacket and everything, Robert. That's right. It's uh, getting to be that time of year. <laughs> I like it. That, may, that way I don't have to pay for the guy to mow my lawn. <laughs> do you pay okay. somebody to shovel your sidewalk? No, I'll do that. Oh. Last year was so deep, dude. I found this guy that was pushing out like uh, with a bulldozer, like one of those big, uh, what are yeah. they called? You know, front loaders. Yeah, yeah, so whatever it is, it pushes <laughs> snow out. But I was, I could not snow plows. I could, yeah, snow plows. I could not get my snow out of the out off the driveway. And I was like, hey man, I'll give you ten bucks. And he pushed it all the way up, but like he tore the grass out of the oh, front. Oh yeah. yeah, yikes! Sometimes those guys that are when they're plowing like that, they don't care. They no, just not at all. They just care. go for it. Yep, they just do it. Hey, a big world record set. Hopefully, I'm not stealing your thunder with your kicker story here, Robert. You hear about this one? It's a big one. And I, you didn't think anybody would be able to ever do this record, but it finally has been accomplished thanks to 507 people in Japan who recently set the world record for dun, da, da, da. pointing on. at the sky all at once. <laughs> what? Are you serious? They set the Guinness Book, Book of World Records for <laughs> How pointing many at the sky all at once. They had to stand there pointing one finger up at the sky and hold it for 30 seconds. And hmm. 507 people set the world record over there. What that. is going on? We got to think of a record we can set. I remember we wanted to do that because I wanted to do the summer of hugs. Yeah, you wanted to do the most hugs. Yeah, mo- so I want to get everybody down the title town, 1,000 people. And I'm looking it up right now. What is the world there's record? A, I hugs? think there's a record for that where it's like a ridiculous amount of hugs in a very short amount of time. Yeah. Like you just have to go, doop, 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 doop. like you're going down the line, hugging away. We'll find one here. Let's get Robert's news report here, and then maybe we'll come back with our new record that we can set. Here we go, Robert. What's happening? Well, 21 days now until Election Day, if you're keeping score. Minnesota Governor, Democratic VP nominee Tim Walls making the first of two stops in Green Bay. Plan for this week for the Democratic tickets. Uh, the also spent part of Monday evening uh, meeting with the leadership of the Oneida tribe and also got a tour of Lambeau Field. The nominee for president, Kamala Harris, will be in Green Bay. That's coming up on Thursday. Brown County, uh, two Brown County officials rolling up their sleeves to remind residents to get their flu shots this fall. Brown County Executive Troy Streckenbach, Public Health Officer Anna Nick received their annual flu vaccinations Monday. They're urging everyone to do the same. Vaccinations especially important for people at a higher risk for serious complications. Something you may have heard of or seen as you were growing up, the hardware store brand True Value filing for bankruptcy. The 75-year-old company selling its operations to rival Do It Best. True Value will continue its day-to-day operations selling hardware and other homewares during the Chapter 11 process. The NLCS is tied at one game each after the New York Mets collected a 7-3 victory over the L.A. Dodgers in Game 2 at Dodgers Stadium yesterday afternoon. Meanwhile, the New York Yankees, their leading the ALCS after holding on for a 5-2 win last night over the Cleveland Guardians in Game 1 at Yankee Stadium. Did you hear who was there? Taylor Swift. That's Taylor right. and Travis. Yay. Taylor and Travis. Yeah. It must well, be so annoying to go to a game and being them. They were like in a luxury suite. Who do you think but... they were rooting for? That's a hmm. great question. And I'm not sure. Good yeah, question. Me either. 
The one that won. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever won, that's who they're cheering for. Uh, finally, uh, exciting note here for uh, snackers. Uh, Frito-Lay opening a Doritos-themed restaurant in Los Angeles. It'll be open for late-night snacks inside the Crypto.com arena. The menu features Doritos-infused dishes like spicy sweet chili ramen burritos and nacho cheese vanilla cones the dorito restaurant will be available for event ticket holders only but beginning on november 15th a pop-up version of the eatery will operate close to the arena interesting My nacho cheese, cheese cones va- yeah vanilla cones so yeah. think so, of, okay so think about what were those doritos locos tacos can mm-hmm. you still get those at was it taco bell yeah um, so kind of the same idea, except you just put a scoop of vanilla ice cream inside yeah. the shell. And, huh. and start partying. Ah. And start partying. Start partying. There's, yeah. there's a new thing over at uh, at Taco Bell where the cheese it inside the crunch it's wrap. Aw- oh, you... <laughs> I want to really try it. I, it's good. I, I, I love everything on the Taco Bell menu. I've sacrificed my elbow for it. Mm-hmm. I, I'm surprised you're not a paid endorser. But the cheese it thing... <laughs> I don't know. I love Cheez-Its. I love Taco Bell separately. Mm-hmm. Yes. So mm. just like all my boyfriends, love them all separately. All right. Cool. <laughs> uh, I just found out that in one hour, the most hugs, 1,749 by a man called Juan Man in 2006. How many was Let's it? Let's go. 1,749. One seven. Yeah. How many hugs is that per second? Divided by, and how, in an hour? <laughs> yeah. One hour. In an 60 hour? minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay, 60 so that's minutes. 29 a minute divided by 60 seconds is about point, um, I don't know. <laughs> math in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> give up. Dummies doing math. <laughs> it's 626. Huggy has got a pitch. I shouldn't say Huggy. I should say Huggy Maze. Huggy Maze here. And boy, do us. I have a good one for you today. All right. <laughs> invest or not, we're going to play this game here on the way in about seven, eight minutes on WIXX. The leather is fresh. I love that smell. W Health Kids and American Family Children's Hospital. Be likable. Hey, it's Corey, and the seasons are changing, but does life ever really slow down? I mean, there's so many things going on across Northeast Wisconsin this fall. That's why I'm glad to have T-Mobile here to help keep me connected. Whether I'm hitting up a fall festival or a high school football game, or participating in one of our favorite traditions around here, Pre-game tailgate parties, green and gold style on a Sunday. T-Mobile helps keep me covered on America's largest 5G network. And they have an awesome deal you don't want to miss. Now, new and existing T-Mobile customers can get a Samsung Galaxy S24 on them. Just trade in your phone or at a line on one of their best Go 5G plans. What are you waiting for? Visit your neighborhood store or go to t-mobile.com backslash Samsung with 24 monthly bill credits plus tax and $35 device connection charge. Contact T-Mobile before canceling or credit stop and balances due. Credits end if you pay off early. See details at t-mobile.com. Questions you might hear a lot this fall. Will my team make it? And Corey. Thanks, Pete. It's 40 degrees at 630. Here's Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Papa Roach and Carrie Underwood with Leave a Light On at 635 with Huggy and Natalie and Corey waking you up this morning on 101 WIXX. Would you invest? Would you invest is the question. Huggy Mays here and I got something for you. Uh, homies of the show, if you're listening, let me know if you would invest in this delicious product even though it's not any type of food. It's called I I I. You got dirt in your eye? Scratch cornea? Glaucoma? Feeling dry up in those balls? Let me tell you, welcome to the perfect world of small eye problems. I, I, I. This is a pair of glasses like no other. (laughs) Only four simple buttons to control this sleek pair of Harry Potter looking specs. They're almost like magic with all these functions. I'm talking Swiss Army Knife type of glasses here. Swiss Army Knife type of glasses. Uh, If there is rain falling down, I want to tell you that you can squeegee those bad dogs off with my state-of-the-art windshield wipers. My state-of-the-art glass wipers. I, I, I will put optometrists out of business like no other. Now, let me ask you this question, okay? Corey, Natalie, you're allowed to talk now. Okay. Okay. Would you invest in I, I, I? 
Well, it has the has the actual windshield windshield wipers. wipers. That Mini is windshield it. wipers. Yes, that is a custom creation. So that's going to be forty nine ninety nine. Now, if you want to go just with the specific, you can squirt these eye drops in your eye. If you have dry eyes, they come down straight from the straight from the frame, and they just squirt. Oh, eye drops okay. into your eyes. So you don't have to do it. Nobody likes to do eye drops in their eyes. How about you, Corey? No, I hate it. Natalie, do you like eye drops? Uh, no, not my favorite. How, hey, Natalie, I remember you telling me that you have glaucoma. Do you? Yep. Okay, cool. Your eyes do look a little green. It'll fix all of that. How about a scratch cornea, Corey? Well, I have scratched the cornea before. Mm -hmm. Who hasn't? Let me tell you, if your eyes are feeling dry, glaucoma, scratch cornea, dirt and eyes, ay, 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 is the glasses for you. Yay! I would invest. Would you? You would invest? I would invest if nothing else, just because of the name. What would be your investment amount? <laughs> what like are you know. looking for? <laughs> um, this, I would I would invest three fifty. How would I even purchase the first pair of glasses to make it? <laughs> it okay. does have four buttons on the side, so they're easy to use. Oh, it has four buttons. Yep, five buttons if you want to get the windshield wipers. Two hundred and fifty bucks. Okay, that's going down. I don't like that. With what type of percentage no, would I you meant, like to get I, back from that? I meant three dollars and fifty cents. Oh, I thought you meant two hundred fifty dollars. Well, this isn't working out very well at all. <laughs> so, homies, the show. It's called Ay Ay Ay. If you would like to invest in this, if you would indeed or not, you could text us at three one zero one one to get in for this epic epic investment. Called I I I. How did? What is it called again? I I I. Three one zero one one. Would you invest? It's W I X X. I know sleep. Goes on and on. That's Mark Amber belong together on one hundred one W I X X six forty one with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. And Huggy, you've got your first investor. I do. Thank you, Renee from Manawa. Appreciate it. She said that <laughs> she would invest if they made a pair that are like sunglasses. Let me tell you, I'm open to all collaborations. We are in talk with Oakley right now. Wow. Yeah, we are. That's a lie, but also we could be. <laughs> Maybe it's dollar store sunglasses. Everybody loves those. I just bought sunglasses this weekend, actually. Did dad glasses? Yep. <laughs> totally How'd dad go? glasses. They go like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your I I I's. I I I. Huggy hey, Huggy Maze. Mm -hmm. they huggy have four, Maze here. four buttons on them. Four buttons. What do the four buttons do again? The four buttons. They will squirt. What are those called? Eye they drops. will squirt eye drops right into your eyeball, okay? They will fix the scratched cornea. No idea how, but it might be cool. Glaucoma, Natalie, Corey, if you got it, fix it. No Thanks idea what goodness. that's going to do. How about them eyes? <laughs> eye, eye, eye. <laughs> and if you want that fourth button, let me tell you, you could have those winter wipers like crazy. And Renee from Manawa, we will work on a sunglass pair. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got to block the sunlight. Glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> when, in, when in doubt, go to back to glaucoma. Glaucoma. <laughs> aye, aye, oh aye. <laughs> I think you could have a catchy tune with that, too. Aye, 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 aye. Like that? Very, very similar. Wear them. Wear them. Hey, wear speaking, em. speaking of that, speaking of catchy jingles, mm -hmm. clever transition in. If you're a small business owner, maybe you have a product. Listen, like I, I, I. I'm going to tell you. to help you out for real. Right now at this very moment, we're doing them small business slappers. I got mm -hmm. a bunch that came in and there's some really, really awesome businesses. I want to make you a jingle. So if you are a small business, I want to make your business bang, dude. I want to make that slap. So you can use it on pretty much anything. Social media, we'll play it a couple times on the radio for you, but I want to get into this. So text slap, S-L-A-P, just in case you don't know how to spell like myself, that's slap to 31011 if you're a small business. Nice. So could the small business hook it up to the, the the little door alarm? You know, like when you open a door to a small business, sometimes that little like doorbell goes off. Ding dong. Instead yeah, of like that, it could be like, yo, worker. small business slapper, small business slapper. Yep. Insert your name. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could. That would be awesome. Instead yeah. of a bell. Yeah, you just hit that and then it's Huggy singing to you <laughs> every time you your small that business. How annoying Yep. <laughs> All right, um, so just text the word slap, and uh, your first slapper will be coming up, what, I don't know, sometime probably, next week, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking next week. Okay. We might do Wednesday or Friday. All right. Depending on. I also yeah. got another investment. I would invest if you would add, like, AI to the sunglasses. That would be really cool. Maybe. They, yeah. have, they have that, don't they? That's like, the, they had those, remember those Snapchat glasses? The yellow oh, ones? I do remember that. They had but the Google glasses. Yeah, there are glasses that you can also record as you're walking. And That's stuff, weird. kind of terrifying. People that were wearing them were called glass holes. 
Because they, because, because they were, no, really, there was a nickname for him. I'm not trying to. I was, I was like, oh, it's because they were acting pretentious wearing their Google glasses. But would you know? Like, I think that's creepy. Like, do you have to tell people, hey, just to let you know I'm recording everything that we're doing right I now? Only, I only wear my glasses when making love. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if my boyfriend is wearing glasses while we're getting a little whatever, I'm going to be like, something's going on here. This is weird. This is weird. Take off those glasses or he's and not put them in a drawer. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> Texting in Apple Vision Pros are insane. Let me tell you, these are cheaper than that. They might break, they might not. Coming to a dollar store near you. <laughs> 645 on WIXX. Huggy, Natalie, and Corey are on 101. 101 WIXX, shine down, symptom of being human, 654 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. It's a cold start to the morning. If you're just getting up and getting moving, it's only about 40 degrees right now. Uh, we all grabbed our winter jackets at the door this morning. Hate to do that to you in October, but we had to do it. Hey, I wanted to ask you this uh, because there's a new reason, there's a study out that talks about how that uh, spanking your child might not be as bad as we thought it was. For a while, you both look at me. Well, I mean, you have a child that yeah. is six years old, so you would be you would be the closest to having a child that would be of spanking age, I guess you could say. Did you spank or do you spank Atlas? No, put me on the spot here. <laughs> put him on the spot. Why don't you? Do I know. It? Um, no, I no. He kind of got traumatized a little bit from oh. spanking because of my ex fiance. We won't get into it. Okay, well, Trauma sorry I asked, but no, it's okay. Jeez. I mean, just add it to the list. Right. Uh, <laughs> but God. what are they saying? Oh, what, are they, <laughs> what are What are they saying about it? No, there, oh, so there's a uh, an endowed professor for parenting research at Oklahoma State University. He's the author of a book called Authoritative Par Parenting, and it claims that spanking does not lead to negative consequences unless it's administrated excessively from a place of malice like spite or hostility rather than genuine concern for the child. How many kids did he have to spank to do this research, dude? Just bring your kid on down right. to the auditorium. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are certain scenarios where I don't spank him, but I remember one time he was about to run into the road and I grabbed him and I like threw Violently, him down on yeah. the ground. Yeah, I had to scare him. Like I scare Atlas. Like when we lived in Milwaukee, we had a huge, we were on like a, the Come on. Fourth floor or whatever. And our balcony had this really big gap that he could probably scoot right into if he wanted to. And I told him, I, I said, Atlas, if you go on this balcony and you go over here, you'll die. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. And then when he was like three years old, we lived in this other place right by the river and the balcony had bars. So he could either easily climb on it. And kids love to climb at like three years old. I said the same thing. I said, you go down there, you go bye bye. You die. I'll never <laughs> see you again. That and let me tell you, morning. let me tell you, he has never climbed on any sort of patio or balcony or nothing. Sometimes you do have to send that message early. I do understand that. Yeah, but I, so I thought this is interesting. Him. The researchers found that spanking accounted for less than 1% of variations of child outcomes showing that its negative of effects might be exaggerated. Did you get spanked as a child? You know, I had the, I got spanked. Uh, I also got the wooden spoon and my dad used to pinch the back of my arm so bad. I used to have little bruises. Was it when you did something bad? Well, yeah, but like it didn't make me not want to do it. It just didn't make me want to get caught, of course, but <laughs> well. it's still like I it sucked, man. I hated that. The pinch I, is the worst. As soon as I heard that wooden drawer open or spoon for, where the spoons are, I can't talk apparently, I would run and I would hide. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Did I get spanked? Not by my parents, I don't think. Like later on in life, me and my dad used to fight, but that was like when I was a teenager. But I got two things. My dad's mom <laughs> used to do the pinching thing. Oh. Woof, dude. That was, And then she used to pull hair as well. But my grandma and grandpa, my mom's parents, yeah, yeah my grandma used to whoop me. Man. Old school. Whoop me I up. used to, my dad used to have this girlfriend her name was Linda. She was awful, worst human being ever in my life. I was young. I was probably like, I don't know, seven or eight. And she used to beat me, man. Like, and my dad would not believe me. <laughs> it's just like, I remember I was like, I would, if I have a kid, like I would never put my hands on them yeah. ever. And I just, I think that's why I'm so tender with Alice, but I'm strict and I'm very stern. Like you guys hear me talk to him. I'm very matter of fact with him. I very don't much. let him get away with anything and I'll let him know when I'm upset, but I will never put my hands on him. Yeah. And you know what he said recently to me? This is his new thing. He said, <laughs> I'll never hit a girl. 
but I'll trip her. <laughs> I said Alice. Where? I did hear him say that, and I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> it's so funny. It's funny coming from a six-year-old, yeah. I'll never hit a girl, but I'll trip her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a win-win there, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right, six fifty-eight thousand dollars minute. Your chance to start your day with $1,000, and you'll be the smartest person in your car listening along at 7.05 here on WIXX. Huggy, Natalie, and Chloe. Well, we got a little problem here at 101 WIXX with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. We got these 10 questions, and we have nobody to answer them. What do we do now? Yee-haw! And Dusty Bottoms here and Darla. How you doing, baby? Hello, baby. And Clean is my cousin. Hey, hey. y'all. <laughs> oh, the whole family's here ready to pitch you these questions and see if you can make your pockets chubby with some cow milk. 406 111 call. Yee-haw! I have a headache. Cow milk, huh? All right, we'll uh, play Thousand Dollar Minute next. We were good. That's Miley Cyrus on 101 WIXX. It's 707 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. Thousand Dollar Minute. Thanks to Colosso Toyota of Appleton. On 101 WIXX. Let's pick some apples! Yeah, okay. Art in Appleton calling in this morning. Hi, Art. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Party. Are you are you nervous for a thousand dollar minute? I know it's been a while since you played. Um, not terribly. I know I'm gonna lose, so it's, <laughs> hey, you know, don't no talk like that. that. Say that, Arthur. We do positive self talk here. Art, okay, well, I'm gonna win. There, that's, that's better, right. much better. Ten now questions, Maybe. sixty seconds. Let's see if you can uh, answer these correctly. <laughs> Remember, the magic word is pass. If you don't know the yes. answer, pass. All right. So here we go, pass. Art. Coming down in three, two, one, go. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Da Vinci. Spell the word occasionally. O c c a s i o n a s a l y. Uh, no, occasionally. Ah. What is the hardest natural occurring substance? Diamond. What boy band was Harry Styles a member of? Um. Uh, pass. What team has the worst record in the NFL last year? Um. Uh, Bears. No. Nope. Shockingly, no. Pass. How many liquid ounces are in one gallon? Um, 128. What hotel chain got its name from the rate of a room per night when it opened in 1962? Um, pass. Who wears number 52 for the Green Bay Packers? Ah, uh, pass. What continent? Okay, maybe you were right. Points, <laughs> <laughs> yes, points. Oh, Art. All right, occasionally you're kind of oh, quick oh, on that. It was Clay Matthews. <laughs> no, oh, well, no, that used a... to be. Used to be. Uh, yeah, that know. one was uh, Rashawn Gary. Okay. Uh, this one was weird because it's not a hotel, it's a motel, and they leave the light on for you. It is Motel 6. Isn't uh, that Motel 8? Super 8? Okay. Super 8. That you're talking about? Leave the things. light on? No, maybe. Motel 6. Yeah, Motel 6, dude. Come motel on, that's 6. A, that's the only place I stay when Wait, I go out of Who's the guy that did the commercials forever? <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be Huggy Mays here. <laughs> <laughs> Carolina Panthers, that was the worst okay. NFL team. One direction. You were definitely going in the wrong direction there. That's the member <laughs> of Harry Styles. <laughs> Occasionally, you were close. O-C-C-A-S-I-O-N-A-L-L-Y. You threw another S in there. Uh, mm-hmm. That was better than I would have expected mm-hmm. from my spelling skills. You were almost King Arthur. But now you're not. <laughs> not <laughs> hey, Art, you don't walk away at the end of though. We got a great parting prize for you just for playing today. Uh, the Green Bay Gamblers are playing in a couple of weekends here. It is going to be Heavy Metal Night. Woo! It's a Bud Night. There's a post game concert that's the 26th of this month, a couple of uh, a couple of weeks away. And you've got a uh, let's see, a pair of tickets for Green Bay Gamblers hockey at the Rush Center. Always a lot of fun there, Art. So hang on line. We'll get some info from you. Okay. Green Bay Gamblers. All right, hang on the line. Uh, oh. <laughs> what was that? Was that good? That was my little, uh, like, Death emo metal? squeal. Oh. Or I could do pig squeal. Oh. <laughs> right, uh, that's good. <laughs> Corey, you try. No, thanks. Try pig squeal just once. Just Come on, do it, do it, do it. Come on, everybody it. wants it. Oink. I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, boy. <laughs> All right, another chance to win $1,000 coming up at 8.05 with $1,000 minutes. Want to play next? Text out. 
That is Jelly Roll. I'm not okay at 719 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on WIXX. Thanks so much for starting your, uh, what is it, Tuesday today? Tuesday. Tuesday off with us. We have your chance to win Justin Timberlake tickets at 840 this morning. So make sure you're listening for that. Robert joins us from the WTAQ newsroom. Hi, Robert. Good morning. Hey, Bobby, do you have any tattoos? I have none. Oh, you want to go get matching ones together? We'll get. I'll get your lips on my neck. You get my lips on your neck. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> As Robert's wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, have you heard of karaoke? Karaoke. 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 Sounds awful. And then there's karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> I don't you even know how you pronounce that. Sing? Well, not quite. But it's even better than that, Robert. Even Here, better. Here's what it sounds like. This happened at the Cat Fanciers Association, held its annual Cat Expo in Cleveland over the weekend. Cat lovers do karaoke, but instead of singing the lyrics, they replace them with meow. Nope. It's catchy, isn't it? My eyes starting to twitch. <laughs> you are not smiling. I just like to be a groupie for that. Yeah? I'm a roadie for... Was, was what town would do this? Caddy, Ohio. Ohio. Right that, next to Springfield. Well, that's a state. <laughs> what? I like that one. <laughs> what town in this area would do this? Springfield, Ohio. Well, it wasn't Springfield. Yeah. <laughs> that's where they're eating them. See, single ladies. Meow. Meow, Come on. meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Natalie, meow, meow, don't act like you don't like that. I really don't. You know, you know what's even worse than Natalie singing those songs? Well, that's true. I, mean, I would go with the people using meow lyrics rather than hearing you sing, Natalie. Just being honest with you. I'm not that bad. <laughs> so, I'm not that bad. Is that bad. any worse than Baby Shark? Um, Baby Don't sing it. No. no. Everybody's going to hate us. Everybody's, no. Don't do it. We don't want do people it. to listen turning, to the show. Turning your mic off. <laughs> uh, Robert, Shark. let's rest. Rescue. Bob. Rescue us. Bob. 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 News. Hit it, big booby. Three teens and a 36-year-old woman. Nope, it's not what you think, but they're all from Campbellsport. They've been identified as the suspects in an extensive deer poaching investigation. Authorities say those incidents happen in Fond du Lac, Dodge, and Washington counties throughout the uh, year span, and they're calling the act senseless, reckless, and indiscriminate. The four suspects have not yet been formally charged. That is expected soon. Vice President Kamala Harris will sit for an exclusive interview with Fox News. The network announcing that anchor Brett Baer will interview the presidential candidate. It will air Thursday at 6 Eastern time from Pennsylvania. That's a key battleground state this November. National polls showing a very tight race between Harris and former President Trump. Green Bay Area Public School District uh, presented its balanced budget for the upcoming school year last night. Chief Financial Officer says that the budget is balanced at $311 million for the year. And one of the keys was the closure of three schools in the district a public hearing scheduled for October 28th where the board will vote on the budget. There's now a price tag to go along with all of those local tax questions on Wisconsin's ballots this fall. The Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty yesterday releasing a report that says local schools asking for over $4 billion in property tax increases. Much of that money earmarked for day-to-day -day operations, though some school districts are looking to build new schools. That includes Green Bay. Finally, a new documentary about the Beatles' first visit to America will premiere on Disney Plus next month. The Beatles 64 will feature rare footage that's been restored. The son of the Beatles producer also remixed the band's famous live performances on the Ed Sullivan Show and at the Washington, D.C. Coliseum. Beatles 64 will hit Disney Plus on November 29th. Didn't they just do one? You know, it was like it was it was cool because I'm a recording nerd and they sat in that white room and they wrote a bunch of songs for like an upcoming show. Do we need more Beatles? <laughs> like I love the Beatles, but you know, do we need another documentary? There's there's one part of me that wants to watch that with my kids and people that have like, you know, kids that are younger elementary school mm -hmm. ages. It's like you want to keep the legacy of the Beatles oh, alive, you know, forever, so they can tell their kids about them sometime when all the Beatles are long gone. But, um, yeah, you're right. There are a lot of Beatles, lot of Beatles shows. But what if they don't like the Beatles? Well, th then they... Well, they, then curse you. Yeah, Natalie. <laughs> Band on the run. That's Wings, though. <laughs> yeah. I liked Wings. <laughs> what were you going to say, Corey, before um, I rudely interrupted I have a you? question yeah. to, for Robert. Can I, I'm raising my hand. Yes, Go sir. On. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes, um, Corey. 
The first story about the deer poaching, can yes. you explain that a little bit about what happened? Well, or, or what, like what, what that they're was? alleging, have to be careful to say that, yes. uh, is that uh, these uh, folks would pretty much go out and hunt deer in fields at night okay, and uh, take them, kill them, uh, leave the carcasses out to rot. So they're just doing it for sport. Like basically, isn't yeah. that what hunting is? Well, no, no but, but I mean, you, you need deer. You have venison. So, they, but there weren't even. There's even one uh, story again alleged that that they took one deer, they wounded it, Aww. put it in the trunk, and then drove it around, and then would would pose for photographs with the deer at, at various locations. Wait but a while, it, wait. while so, it was still alive. So the deer was alive, wounded, and they're posing. Yes. All I can think about is Tommy Boy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, in the, when it, <laughs> when it, it comes the alive car. in the back. <laughs> so, I, I, have, I have a genuine question because I don't know anything about hunting. So if you hunt, right, you kill a deer, it's considered poaching if you don't eat it? No. No, out, out of season. No, Natalie, <laughs> out of season. Yeah. Natalie. Oh, so it's not in season right now. Correct. Natalie's about to be hunting in November. <laughs> it's coming up, baby. Yeah. Something completely different. Yes. <laughs> yeah. that's right. That's right. Everybody in Green Bay. We don't need to know uh, no. about Ladies' Night anywhere. So. <laughs> Boy, Bobby. Oh, Boy. Robert. Plus, you can't hunt at night, Natalie. Somebody texting in the 3101. You can't hunt at night? Well, Nat- you, you, I'm not talking about you. You're, you will be hunting at night. But- <laughs> you guys. <laughs> All right, 725. Thanks, Robert. Uh, on the way, we've got Natalie's hit list. And move over, Elon Musk, because this man built a cyber truck for how much money? Mm, mm. And uh, speaking about Elon Musk, this has nothing to do with it, but your hit list is coming up. And speaking of hit lists, you can 100% find out if you can get some money from your hits on your car, or maybe you fell down the stairs, you're donking your head or something like that. Homies of the show, if you have gotten injured, why don't you hit up Nicolay Law? Yes, they are voted Wisconsin's best lawyers. They make sure that the big insurance companies pays exactly what you deserve. It costs absolutely nothing to find out if you have a case and they have an office right here in Green Bay. So when you need to win, you need to get the lawyers that will fight for you. You need to get Nicolay Law. Get Get the beard! Get the beard! Experience the Christmas truck. Back to Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. Thanks, Pete. It's pretty chilly out there this morning. It's only about 40. It's going to be colder. Actually, it's 38 right now. It's dropped a few degrees. At 729, we're going to warm things up for your fall fashion starting on Monday. That's right. Pick your purse, baby. Pick your purse. Yeah. Pick your purse. So this is really cool because we just had the folks from Wish Lane Aesthetics in yesterday mm-hmm. from Appleton. They're the title sponsor. And every purse you pick is going to be filled with with like gift cards and certificates for different services through Wish Lane Aesthetics and some of their partners. This is going to be so cool. So if you want a designer purse and you want those gift cards that go in it, um, your chance to win starting next or this Monday, I should say. Coming up. Yeah, 840 will be your first chance this coming Monday. Text PURSE, P-U-R-S-E, to 31011 to get us your name or do it at WIXX.com. 101 WIXX 736. It's Huggy and Natalie and Corey. Natalie's hit list is on 101 WIXX. Get it, medical phenomenon. (laughs) Sponsored by our friends at Illumitex Aesthetic Studio in Nina. Book now for all your aesthetic needs with real results. Voted Best of the Valley 2024. Okay. The second annual Get Toby Home Bowling Charity event is happening this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Bud's Social. Get Toby Home is a volunteer lost dog search and rescue. It's $60 to join, which includes bowling for two hours for up to six people, pizza and soda. There will also be silent auctions and 50-50 raffle. You could go to WIXX.com and uh, go to the events page for all the details. Mm, nice. Hey, like the, dog's still, cool. the dog's lost. What's well, for to help find lost dogs and rescue? Oh, just all in dogs. general, yeah. Not yeah. not just Toby. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if there <laughs> was a basset hound named Toby or something. No, <laughs> oh, no, no. A basset hound. Yeah. A basset hound. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> People do that at the same time. Nice. Okay. Uh, speaking of auctions, so there was a Game of Thrones memorabilia auction over the weekend, and it brought in more than twenty one million dollars. Yes. Okay. So the Iron Throne. Give me a guess of how much you thought that, that it would go for. The real one? Like with just, the swords? Just, oh, uh, we'll get into that, but okay. the Iron Throne. Dude. How much do you think somebody bought it for? 150000 I'm going to remove myself from this conversation because I'm not a fan. $1.5 million. No way. Okay, 
And actually, let me clarify, it was a replica of the Iron Throne. So it wasn't even used in the actual show. But it looked exactly it was, like it. Right. It was molded from the original screen use throne. Hmm. So, but somebody still paid $1.5 million for it. Like, who are these people? What do you do? Well, I mean, if you had that kind of money, though, I mean, and you were a big fan of the show, how cool would it be to have that in your basement? 100%. That's true. I would probably buy some labyrinth memorabilia. If it, doesn't I could. Even, it doesn't even look Leverage. comfortable, that no. chair. You get tetanus from it. Do you really? Well, if you watch House of the Dragon, I, I mean. I, well, I stopped watching it because King we weren't friends for a while. The king got cut from the Iron Throne, and oh. then it all went downhill. <laughs> I stopped watching it because it was our show and then not anymore. Okay. Uh, so, and also one of Jon Snow's long claw swords sold for $400,000. My goodness. Dang. Well, now we know that Game of Thrones is officially not coming back. No, it's pocket change for you, baby. Go ahead. I know. Yeah. <laughs> A medical phenomenon. <laughs> I don't get tetanus. I get better. <laughs> All right. A Tesla fan built his very own version of... Of the Cybertruck and now says that he has the only one in his country uh, costing just $700. What does this look like? The man managed to make a lifelike rendition of the innovative electric car. Rano Marsu from Estonia said it took him five evenings to build. The unusual looking car uses a 1991 Leda uh, motor underneath the homemade Tesla body. Meaning he's able to drive no. it. Oh, you should have, oh you, I wish we could have linked it to a keyword because yeah, it's that was funny. my bad. Is it out of boxes? Well, it looks like no. aluminum foil just wrapped in I boxes. Mean, it's, it's, uh, it's like it's, it's what you would order from like when you get Wish. Wish. Com. Com. You know, or whatever. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Yeah. It's uh it's yeah, it's seven hundred dollar cyber truck. So just imagine that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like you make it with your kids. Exactly. Yeah. There's yeah. a there's a like a instructional. You can get it at Toys R Us. Basically. Right. Oh, R but like seven hundred dollars. That's because it's a lot of aluminum foil that he had. To Your buy. six year old kid would think it was awesome. Oh, Hobby Lobby. Yeah. It's coming to a Hobby Lobby near you. All right, seven forty. That's Natalie's hit list, sponsored by Alubatox Aesthetic Studio and Nina. We got a note to Nat that we're going to need your help on coming up in just a few minutes. Shabuzi. Now here's a bar song on one hundred and one WIXX. It's 743 with Shibuzi, a bar song. It's 101 WIXX. Huggy, Natalie, and Corey waking you up on this Tuesday. Dear Natalie. Hey, Natalie, quick question. I wonder what Natalie thinks. Here's a note to Natalie. On WIXX. Well, our note is going to be in a version of a phone call we received yesterday from our friend Nicole, by the way, which, yes. by the way, thank you for the coffee this yeah, morning, Yeah, she Nicole. sent us iced much, coffees this morning. Much appreciated, but she had a really good question because <laughs> I drank it already. <laughs> I can tell. Huggy's literally bouncing spoiled. off the walls. Mm -hmm. Um... Natalie, you seem to have uh, weird people popping up in your DMs all the time on mm -hmm. social media asking you out on dates. So, uh, Nicole posed a good question. Is there always a romantic connotation to DMing somebody? That's a good question. Um, I guess it depends on what you're DMing. I, I say, like, like friendly things and stuff, but, like, I, I'm definitely not trying to do the things yeah. that I hear that you are getting from people. And I'm like... Have I been doing this wrong my whole life? So, well, are you calling them spicy nuggets and that you want to eat their soul? <laughs> no. Well, then I think you're good, Nicole. You're probably <laughs> safe then. <laughs> well, you I mean, I, I message Huggy sometimes and stuff. And like, and and I message other like people that aren't like close friends. And I'm like, shoot, is that getting like misconstrued? Like, so, uh, so your question is, and I think it's a good one. When you quote unquote DM you, that instantly means that like you're romantically interested, even if you're not. Is that's the question you're asking, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't, I didn't know that. If that's the, if that's the truth, I did not know. Honestly, it really depends on who you're DMing and what you're saying at the end of the day. If you're just giving a compliment, I mean, a compliment's a compliment. And that's nice. And yeah, Nicole, you got to stop asking me for nudes. <laughs> but, but like, what if somebody thought they were just complimenting you, Natalie, and like you're like blocking people off though? So, like, that, okay, there you go. Well, they deserve it. Well, and also Natalie's got the tallest wall from here to China, so uh, you really can't get China. over it. <laughs> Facts. I just, it's just uh, listening to your conversations made me reflect on that. Like, I would not want to be that person where I'm just like, hello. There's the great, <laughs> there's the great wall of China, and then right after that, it's Natalie. There's me. <laughs> Good luck, baby. Good luck. <laughs>
So, Natalie, here's my question to you, and this is based on what Nicole said. And sure. I guess a question for everybody, too, who has ever been DM'd on social media from a complete stranger is, what if somebody is literally just trying to be friendly, though? Like, do you trust that there is that even exists anymore? I think it's different if it's a man getting the DM or a woman getting the DM. I My brain doesn't know the difference between friendly and not. So I like I wh- okay Corey. What would you consider a friendly DM? How well, many do you hu- get a day, Huggy? <laughs> I should ask you because he's married. So yeah. Huggy, if you were to send a woman a DM, not flirting, if mm-hmm. you can imagine that, just a friend. <laughs> just, I know you have to think super hard like, on this one. You really you have to go to a different a place because I. Well, okay, guys, I'm not so stone cold. Like I also give compliments. I I've sent DMs to men before. Yeah. And just being friend, friendly, though. I mean, I don't DM men anymore, but... <laughs> no, you just say blocked. <laughs> <laughs> it no. saves me heartache. <laughs> you know, I don't really get that many DMs. My thing is, you know, like my ex, I did slide into her DMs mm-hmm. on Facebook, but I said that she was captivating. But this was okay? this was before you started yes. like dating. dating. That's how that you was, that okay. was my... And she thought it was fine. Like, I was being yeah. friendly. Like, a compliment like that, I think it's okay. You well, know? and let me say, I've had men that listen to our show that will DM me and be like, hey, welcome to Green Bay. I really like listening to you on the show. And I think that's a, a nice compliment. And so, so, so then they don't want to go any farther than that necessarily? I think they're scared. Well, <laughs> I'm just well, kidding. Yeah, <laughs> as they should be. As they should be. Um, they don't want to get blocked, too. <laughs> I wonder how long my block list is. I bet it's over 100 right now. We should go through it sometime. That'd yeah, be kind of funny. honestly. Well, after they DM you with the the happiness, the yeah. goodness, the positiveness, what do they say after that? You know, uh, after, do you take the compliment and then yeah. they go straight into like, send me some nudes? No, no, <laughs> block. <laughs> uh, no, I will, I will obviously acknowledge it because a good, com- everyone likes a good compliment. Okay. Right. Uh, I feel like for women on social media, the DMs can get so weird and disgusting. Like and licking it's just- your toes. For a thousand dollars, maybe I'll let it slide. (laughs) Uh, I don't know. It's just so different. Like I would, I would rather Huggy get your opinion on what you think is a friendly compliment in your DMs. Can you tell? Can you tell the difference? Yeah, I mean, there's like, like for example, Nicole hits me up all the time. Those are friendly DMs. I think. Big big shout out to Nicole for the yeah. coffee. Yeah, now my eyeballs are popping out. Like there's some there's some homies of the show that'll pop in and say nice things about like you said about the show. Yeah, and every, but you know I <laughs> my whole DM game changed when I got that 8.3 million butt cheek video playing catch with my dog. Oh yeah, I can yeah. imagine. So now I you know I became a gay icon. My <laughs> you know, like, my yeah my DMs always uh, <laughs> get a little crazy when my show is re airing. Right, right. Or if it's re airing in another country. There you go. It'll get crazy. I mean, it's fun. See. Corey earlier, homies of the show, told me that I need to stop reading my books because I have an unrealistic standard of a relationship. Can I disagree I, with you. Can I respond to what you said? Yes. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. I said challenge accepted because like, I'm just, I feel like I'm still so old school and traditional that I don't want to meet someone out of a DM. Like I st- my delusional mind is like, I'm going to be in a bookstore and somebody's going to be like, oh, let me get you a coffee. <laughs> walks, in, walks in in armor. Coom, 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 coom. Yeah. I'm going to say you. Armor. Here it comes. <laughs> All right. It's You're- 749. We, uh, we want to hear from you this morning. 920-406-1011. Or you can text us on the Capital Credit Union text line at 31011. Huggy. Huggy. 101 WIXX, Sabrina Carpenter and Taste at 754. It's Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. A chilly start to the day. It is 38 right now. Highs of 49 today. Some frost overnight uh, expected tonight. And speaking of frost, we are talking about Natalie's DMs. (laughs) (laughs) Cold, baby, cold. That's true. Well, you know, uh, there have been some men that have DM'd me that have been very funny and very respectful. I like the ones that say, B's winning. <laughs> well, yeah, they kind of are. The reason we're bringing this up, though, is because our listener, Nicole, who's a good friend of the show, asked the question, like, is it even okay to DM somebody on social media or is there an automatic, impl- like, people do, do you automatically imply that you're... Interested. You have, yeah, you have other intentions, I guess. Hi, WIXX, who's this? Hi, this is Kelly. Hi, Hi Kelly. Kelly. What do you think? Kelly. How are you guys doing? Good, good. good. 
Okay, uh, so honestly, like with the whole DM thing, I just feel like if you are in my DMs on social media, I probably don't want to talk to you, whether you're being friendly or not. Like, I'm just probably not going to respond. Like, I hardly ever look at my Messenger app. Hmm. Um, Why do you but, just assume? Like, also- so you just assume basically that people are, are in it for one reason if they DM you. Um, kind of, unless it's just like, you know, I don't know, like you can tell the difference between somebody being friendly and somebody being creepy. But like if you never talk to them and they just send you a hey, like that's just <laughs> what, what is that? Like, <laughs> right. Why are Sup, you sending girl? me that? Yo, you got nice feet. <laughs> yeah, at least at least make it interesting. And I think it's different for like Huggy and I, because we're in the like we're, we put our lives out there, so people just automatically think they have a re- some sort of relationship with us, and that's fine. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, to like the normal quote unquote normal person, well, a person that doesn't have a job pers- like this, right? Yeah. Exactly, who's and not out of it. Um, yeah, just a simple hey is not captivating. No. Like, try more. Yeah, try I know. Harder. I know what you mean too. Like saying that you put yourself out there with your job. I do that too. I'm a bartender, so like oh, a lot yep. of people in my yep. area know who I am. It's like, you're like pay- yeah, you're paid to be friendly to people. Yeah, what's your social yeah. media? I'm sliding in. <laughs> yeah. I'm sliding right in, Kelly. And I, we started dating because he, or because I actually messaged him on oh. Facebook Messenger. So, like, I went in his DMs, and that's how we started dating. So, like, huh. I don't know. I just feel like if I'm messaging somebody on there, it's because I'm trying to, like, actually hang out with them. But Kelly, I don't Kelly know. you're pulling a Natalie. You're being very contradictory. <laughs> 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 thanks, thanks for the call. Okay, so we do have a couple DMs. Uh, one of them says, can somebody please explain what a DM is and sliding in your DMs? Okay, here it is. DM means direct message on social media. Sliding in the DMs means you're hitting on them, essentially, or just messaging them out of the blue. And then there's one, uh, Katie from Ripon says, the only DMs I like is when they ask to be my sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Okay. And I will say consistency is key in the DMs because, I don't know if you guys know this, but B, he was originally in my DMs. Oh. That's how we started talking. And I kept blowing him off. He invited me to a wedding once and I canceled the day before. I never blocked him because he was always very respectful and very sweet. So it kind of worked. He's so in other t- words, if you're creepy and you want to date with Natalie, just, <laughs> just keep going. He was never creepy, <laughs> no, though. So he's it's not different. at all. But one of the first ones she sent was... Diarrhea forever. <laughs> <laughs> Huggy, Natalie, and Corey are on... Nina. Hey, it's Corey. And if you're tired of your money sitting in your bank account and not growing fast at all, like growing at a snail's pace, then I want you to imagine a high-yield checking account with returns over 20 times the national average. It's time you meet Capital Credit Union's Cha-Ching Checking, where your money works hard for you. It's a checking account with no monthly maintenance fees, keeping even more money in your pocket. And let's face it, we could all use more money in our pocket these days. They're making my na- managing your financing a breeze, too, providing the freedom to bank anywhere, anytime with their digital banking app. You can do that right on your phone. How easy would that be? Experience a banking relationship that grows with you, built on trust and doing the right thing. Doing the right thing is what Capital Credit Union has been doing and will continue to do just for you. So join a community of members that believes in collective success, having earned over $1.8 million in interest this year with cha-ching checking. I know I'm piquing your interest, so if you're ready to make your money work harder for you, visit their website at CapitalCU.com. That's CapitalCU.com for full details or stop by a Capital Credit Union branch to open your account today. It's impossible to describe perfect love. And until today, it was important. 101 WIXX with Kane Brown, Sway Lee, and Khalid at 806 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. 60 seconds, 10 questions. It's that easy. Easy. $1,000 minute thanks to Colossal Toyota of Appleton. And we welcome our friend Lucas and Rippin to the line. Good morning, Lucas. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Good, good, good. You got a chance to win $1,000 here. Now, you said you played like a year ago and you didn't do too well, right? Not very well at all. Okay, you got your crew there digging up trees. You're gonna, they're going to help you out or are they out working and you're staying warm in the truck? Uh, they're staying warm in the truck. I'm actually outside the oh. truck. 
He's a real man. He's You're working. A real man working in the cold this Here morning. Here we go. <laughs> right, here we go. Lucas, 10 questions, 60 seconds. Remember, the word is pass. If you don't know the answer, we'll skip past it. Come back to it as long as time allows. If you get them all correct in 60 seconds, you win, Lucas. Here we go. Coming down in three, two, one, go. The songs Shivers, Perfect, and Afterglow are performed by which artist? Pass. In what Wisconsin county is the city of Seymour in? O'Connell? No. Nope. Pass. What is 27 divided by 3? 9. In the game Rock, Paper, Scissors, what beat Scissors? Rock. What rapper released the Marshall Mathers LP album in 2000? Eminem. What is the largest island in the Indian Ocean? Madagascar. Who wrote the book series Twilight? Pass. In what city is the Mona Lisa located? Pass. What are elephant tusks made up of? Ivory. Who is the current first lady of the United States? Mrs. Biden. <laughs> What's her first name? <laughs> Mrs. Biden. <laughs> you know, technically, Lucas, we're going to give you that one because you weren't wrong. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Biden. Uh, the Mona Lisa is located in Paris. This is Jacques Luc letting you know I like looking at picture I have magazine of her. Uh, Stephanie Meyer, I'm glad you didn't know this one. Twilight, that's who the book, who, who she wrote the book. Uh, Out of Gaming, that is where the city of Seymour is. And Ed Sheeran, uh, that, or AKA, AKA Ginger Jesus, uh, that's who wrote and performed Shivers, Perfect, and Afterglow. Yep. All right, Lucas, you were a heck of a contestant. Thanks for giving it a shot today and have a good day. Stay warm and ripping, all right? All right, sounds good. Right, take care, man. Thanks for listening. Uh, that's Thousand yep. Dollar Minute, and we play every weekday morning at 6.05, 7.05, and 8.05 here on WIXX. And on the way at 8.40, your chance to see the Prince of Pop himself, a guy we know as Justin Timberlake. He's coming to the Pfizer Forum two weeks from last night, and we've got your free tickets at 8.40 here with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on WIXX. And Natalie, speaking of money, money that you can get for free, you could win with the insurance companies, but you got to get Nicolay Law just for all of your needs as far as injuries go, homies. Any accident is always devastating, and you need to make, make sure that you have a law firm that's going to have your back, which is Nicolay Law. It costs absolutely nothing to find out if you have a case and they have an office right here in Green Bay. So when you need to win, you need to get the beard. Get Nicolay Law. Get, get the, the beard. beard. Get, get the, the beard. Want to play next? It's 101 WIXX at 818 with Huggy and Natalie and Corey and Pick Your Purse starts Monday. Powered by Wish Lane Aesthetics. Get us your name at WIXX.com or just text PURSE to 31011. Do you guys have something that you would splurge money on? It's so expensive and people would probably judge you on doing it, but it's well worth it. Corey, I know you don't like to spend more than $5 a week, but... <laughs> Dollar store dad. <laughs> yeah, I, I really have to sit and think about this one. I might, I might have you pass on me and come back to me at the end of the table here because I don't know of anything because I'm so cheap. I literally talk myself out of buying things all the time. What about basketballs? Like, is there like a brand of basketball that's kind of expensive? Uh, even but- that though, even that though. I mean, I guess... I don't know. I guess the one Your thing Your kids' that, sports, I feel like, is the only thing that you yes, really invest totally in. totally worth it because my wife and I made the decision that that is the thing that makes us happiest in life right now is watching uh-huh. our kids play sports. So we decided to invest in it. Um, okay. No, I, will, I do have one thing. Okay. Um, shoes that are comfortable. Like okay. super comfortable shoes because my feet, I'm getting old. My feet are starting to hurt just from walking around. So if you don't have comfortable shoes, life sucks. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Heidi, do you have one? Yes. Tattoos. They're well Fair. worth it. You know, are they like, really? Yeah, I love them. It feels good, and they have this conversation. And a lot of my tattoos are, like, for different reasons. You know, like, uh, my whole chest is both my grandpa's, and then it, there's an anchor because family is my anchor and has my last name on it. These two on my hands are from when I got to play a sold-out show with Sib- Shiba San. They're two TVs. Uh, this was an album that I wrote. Camp Hope is my favorite uh, My favorite movie which is heavyweights if you've never seen it but and then i started this one yesterday with eric from sanctuary tattoo but it's going to be all chicago and it's just like me, like things that mean something to me so if you look at them it takes you back to that memory you oh know? okay I mean, so that's why you bad. do them that's yeah. why you have so many tattoos they so all have spend, so you would spend a lot of money on 
tattoos. Yeah, I already have. Even though other people think they're useless, essentially, yeah, right? Yeah, I would never get one. Mine is spending money on cleaning companies, like yep. to come in my house and deep clean for me. Now, thankfully, I have my mom here for a week and she's <laughs> doing it for free. <laughs> Who needs to pay when mom will do it for free? <laughs> you know, and I like to think I keep my house pretty clean. Huggy, you've been in my house. Like, I keep it clean. My mom comes in and she's like, Natalie, you got to organize better. You got to do this more. You got to do this more. And I'm like, mom, isn't it time for you to go home? (laughs) 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 All right. We want to hear from you on this one. 31011 on the Capital Credit Union text line or 920-406-1011 if you want to give us a call. Yeah. What's something that you splurge on that other people might think is ridiculous. But you think it's totally worth it's it. It's totally yeah. worth it. You said cleaning, like, uh, for the summertime, and I think I still owe this dude money, but it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric, if you're listening, I'm sorry, like, hit me up on Friday, uh, but for mowing the lawn, you know, like, okay. I don't have, like, time to do it, because my my backyard is huge. It is big, yeah. It's huge, man, so I don't know, that takes a long time, and I, I only have a push rider that I haven't, or a push mower that I haven't taken out of the back like yeah. shed. shed it since I moved here. <laughs> I'm all about convenience. So like paying for movers. If I had a house and I had a, uh, uh, what's it called with the snow? <laughs> snow plow. <laughs> Shovel. Yeah. <laughs> I was glitching. Uh, I would literally pay somebody to do that. I just think. Yeah, so it's well worth it at that point, yes. you know. Hi, WIXX. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Rob from Nina. Hi, Rob. What, what, what is something that you've spent a lot of money on? Others wouldn't, but you think is totally worth it. Bose noise canceling headphones. Oh, so do they actually cancel noise? They sure do. Hmm. Give us know. an example of when those have come in handy for you. Kids crying, airplanes with crazy, cra- uh, crying babies in the oh, row behind there you. There it is. Oh, sure. okay. There it yeah. is. Uh, I, I'm glad you didn't say anytime my wife speaks. <laughs> no, definitely not. <gasps> he actually likes his wife. Aww. Okay. Hey, that's the right answer. Hey, thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. 920 406 1011 if you want to get in on the conversation or 31011 on the Capital Credit Union text line here on WIXX. Rock and Suggy, Natalie, and Corey. All right. Thank you very much, Pete. 38 degrees here at 833 with your Justin Timberlake tickets coming up in less than about seven minutes. Around 840, we'll give you that shot. <laughs> Chapel Rowan, hot to go. It's 8.36 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey on 101 WIXX. And uh, we're talking kind of an interesting topic that Natalie brought up. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to see, homies of the show, what they would splurge their money on that other people might think is not worth it. Mm-hmm. Uh, self-care seems to be a big one mm-hmm. right now that people are texting in. Which is a good thing. I'm Any glad, I'm glad people self-care. are saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And uh, a lot of food things, like you, like uh, <laughs> Bert from Howard's Grove says you can't skip on Heinz ketchup, Jif peanut butter, Kraft mac and cheese. Mm, I'm they more of a Velveeta. Yeah. Yeah, Velveeta yeah, okay. is so good. But like I go to Aldi and it, like does that matter? You know, I, I mean, they, had, they do have Sweet Baby Ray's, but it's Sweet Baby Ray. You know, there's no ass on it. So. <laughs> Amanda in Green Bay says a nice mattress. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got one. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just got one. Uh, I have a brand kind new of. mattress and I'm obsessed. Are okay. you? Okay. Yes, I am. Sick. Bobby <laughs> Joe in New London says rubber duckies. I cannot have enough rubber duckies. Okay, so. literally Atlas, my son, yeah. obsessed with them. Can he have one? He's always trying to steal them. There's this dad that has this really nice red Jeep at pickup every time. And he's loaded with ducks in it. It's a Jeep thing. Yes. Yesterday, Atlas got brave and out the window yelled, can I take one of his ducks? Literally just stared at him in the face. Did the guy give him to him? I rolled up the window and I left. (laughs) No. Does he have any duplicates? Like, are there duplicates? Yeah, there are. He's got to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marie from Green Lake, Christmas decor. I have six Christmas trees. Wow. Holy cow. That's a lot. You got six rooms? I don't know. No, they're some, all in one room. They could be. <laughs> one in the bathroom. <laughs> this one says, uh, Brandon from Green Bay says, movies is my thing. I have a wall in my house for movies. Currently have over 2,600 DVDs. Holy cow. Yeah. My that, brother collects movies and those pop figures. Can you still buy DVD players? Yes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Try this thing. I don't know. Google. You can uh, Google, <laughs> eBay, Craigslist. Um, uh, Haley from De Pere says, a Wisconsin proof winter jacket. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Hi, WIXX. So um, I was listening to your show, hearing about things that spend way too much on, but you're willing to do it. Yes. My thing is, is I collect 
vintage. They have to be 1970s, 80s era. Okay. Merck. Merck's? Merck. F M U R F X. You know, la 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 la. Uh, <laughs> Smurfs? <laughs> really? Yeah. Where, where now, did you get an obsession for Smurfs? Um, I have had a love for the Smurfs since I was a child, and I watched the cartoon. So as an adult, even through my um, teenage years, I have collected them. Who knew some of these pieces that are basically two-inch tall or inch-and-a-half tall PVC figurines? can go for upwards of two, three hundred dollars. I have a couple curio cabinets in my house where I have them set up and I think the big question that everybody wants to know is, are you married? <laughs> yeah, to Smurf that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I am not married. Are you in a relationship with anybody right now? Um no. I am not. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. That was He's that got was, enough company. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie's hit list is on 101 WYXX. Brought to you by our friends at Kid to Kid and Uptown Cheapskate next to JC Penny in Green Bay. So a young girl might have some advice for all of you going into cuffing season. We'll get into that, but first Megan the Stallion announced a new documentary film in her words, which is due to stream exclusively on Amazon Prime Video on October 31st. The film will uh, be in chronicle- chronological order of how her rise to fame came to be. Hopefully, I wonder if it's going to talk about the shooting. Hopefully it does better than Jennifer Lopez's. <laughs> Woof. It's not a musical. Okay, I, I did like the J-Lo one, though. Yeah, this you made is me, me watch it. Now. <laughs> I did watch it. I said you made me watch it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Olivia Rodrigo fell through a hole on stage during her Guts World Tour stop in Melbourne yesterday. Uh, she was running across stage, and all of a sudden, one of the trap doors was left open. Uh, she said, oh, my God, that was fun. I'm okay. Sometimes there's just a hole in the stage. That's all right. So she was okay. Jeez. The video was kind of See fun. ya. <laughs> she, Whoa! Goodbye. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, you should do Goodbye. the... Goodbye. <laughs> there you go. All right, finally, a young girl has some advice. It is cuffing season, but she has one thing that she is suggesting if you are trying to get a boyfriend or why you should not get a boyfriend. Her boyfriend kisses her on the lips. Oh. And it busts. What? Yeah. That is nasty. What? The only time you can kiss somebody is when you actually love them and they're a part of your family. Right. But, like, when you get in love with somebody, when you're actually in love with somebody, you can kiss. And what age do you think that would be? Like, a person? When you're in, like, the teens. I mean, you can get a boyfriend, but when you're older, like right. 15. Right. Or older than that. Yeah. Like, when you actually like somebody and they and they like you. For like real. When you get to the point where you have a crush on them, for real. Right. If you can't spell boyfriend, you shouldn't have one, right? <laughs> there it is. If you she can't spell genius. boyfriend, you shouldn't have one. The, oh, a huggy spell girlfriend. <laughs> G-I-R-F-R-E-N-D. No, you no, forgot I the forgot. L. <laughs> God, you literally just that. <laughs> Goodbye. We promised oh, that wasn't man. set up. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, she's she's not wrong. No, no. All right, that's Natalie's hit list, sponsored by our friends at Kid to Kid and Uptown <laughs> Cheapskate next to JC Penny in Green Bay here at WIXX. You goof. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, oh my God. All right, let's give away some Justin Timberlake tickets. He's going to be at the Fiserv Forum, the Prince of Pop, two weeks from last night, and you could go for free. Now, there are still some tickets available if you want to buy them, but they are going quick. It's probably going to sell out. We do have some tickets here. If you would like to play a little game with us for a chance to win these tickets, call her 11 right now. Now, 920-406-1011. That's 920-406-1011. Huggy and Org. 101 WIXX, Huggy and Allie and Corey. It's 845. It's time to give away some Justin Timberlake tickets. Yeah! To the line, we have Megan in Fond du Lac. Good morning, Megan. How are you? Good morning. Good. Uh, good. Great to hear. And then we have Sarah and Jillet, who is going to be playing against you for these Justin Timberlake tickets. Mm-hmm. Sarah, say hello to Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Sarah. Tell her she's going down. Oh, geez. Now we want to get yeah, evil. Yeah, battle words. Let's go. Yeah. So uh, Megan <laughs> called in first. She wisely chose Natalie. Yes. 
<laughs> Wisely? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, so we're going to play a little game called Link E. Huggy, why don't you describe the game? All right, so there is four questions. Each answer leads to the final answer. So you got to take all the answers from these questions. All the clues. All the clues, and then it, you, you spoke... <laughs> I got and then you. you. Get the one answer. Yes. All right, so we're going to ask Bonk. you four questions, okay? Then you're going to answer. All the answers are going to accumulate to what the phrase is that we're trying to get you to guess. That's what I just said. Yep. Ready, okay. Corey? So, uh, Megan, you get to go okay. first, okay? Since you uh, got through first, you got Natalie. So, Natalie, go. All right. Name the bushy haired actor that starred in Point Break and Dirty Dancing. Blank Swayze. Patrick. Yes. Name the two-piece swimming suit that the Catholic Church attempted to ban in the 1950s. Bikini? Yes. Which fruit typically features on a Hawaiian pizza? Pineapple. Yes, ma'am. Name the children's television channel whose name is often abbreviated to Nick. Nickelodeon. Yes. What are all... So you have Patrick, Bikini, Pineapple, Nickelodeon. What do you think it is? SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. Yay. No. Wow, I'm like four for four. We're basically perfect. <laughs> All right, Sarah from Gillette. That's Gillet. why I picked the, the girl. Sa- Sarah right. from Gillette. Huggy's got yes. you. Here we go. Sarah, give me a little hum. Let's breathe together. Ready? Three, two, one. Hum. Um. There we go. Now we're, we're locked in, baby. Here we go. <laughs> Kumquats, okay. kumquats, papaya, and duran are all types of what? Fruit. There we go. Finish off the lyric by Ray Parker Jr. I ain't afraid of no. Buddy. What was it? Buddy. Nope. Okay, we're going <laughs> to skip that one. Uh-huh. All right. During the fall season, which cornstalk based adventure can people get lost in? A maze. Okay. Pong, Street Fighter, and Halo are all types of what? Video game. Yep, here we go. So you got fruit, maze, and video game. What do you think it is? Oh, boy. Fruit, maze, video game. Pac-Man? Yeah! Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, baby. Okay, Here we go. So here's the tiebreaker, ladies, and your name is your buzzer, okay? And you only get one shot at it, all right? Mm-hmm. You only get one okay. shot at it, okay? So okay. Um, let's go with, uh, actually, how should we do this? Should we ask them each two? And then they can, after that, we should we should probably have them well, just ask them. Why don't you just read the whole card yeah, and, then they and the say clue, and then they got to say what it is. So I have to yep. say the answer, too? No. Yes. At the end. <laughs> Right. No, Natalie. So I don't take the answer go. to each one, right? Yeah. Well. Wow. I wow. Love we're us. we're donks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if something emits phosphorescence, then it can what in the dark? Go what, Sarah? Sarah, go. Glow. Glow. Okay. Yep. That is correct. It's phosphorus, by the way. No, it's phosphorescence. You should see this word. <laughs> not good. I'm not good on phonics. Hooked on phonics did not work for me. Um, <laughs> which Winnie lived in a hundred acre wood? Megan. Megan. Poo. <laughs> the answer is poo. Yeah. <laughs> Someone who can understand what you're saying just from the movements of your mouth is known as a what reader? Lip, Megan. Megan. Sarah. Lip, lip reader. Lip, okay. Sarah, and then... What word was the word of the year in 2013 and means a photograph that one has taken of oneself? Sarah, Megan. Sarah, go for it. Oh, God. My brain just... Selfie, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Selfie. Okay, Sarah, since you got the last one, you get the first guess. You guys got... What are the clues? Resay. Clues, buddy. Glow, poo, lip, selfie. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> Low poo lip selfie. Sarah, you get the first shot since you answered that right, last one. Low poo lip selfie? Yep. What the heck? Glow. They're all linked to one word, not a phrase. They're all linked to one word. Glow. Sarah, stick. Sarah, stick. Sarah, stick yeah! Hey! Hey! I would like to thank the Academy and Sarah for being so dope. (laughs) We won. We won. Good job, Megan. Hey, thanks so much for playing, Megan. You were a great contestant. Listen tomorrow morning. We'll have another chance to win those, okay? Thanks, Megan.
Yep. All right. Love yep. you. All right, Sarah on the line. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. You're going to Justin Timberlake at the hey, Pfizer hey. Forum. All right. <laughs> Two weeks from last night, tickets on sale now for everybody else. But if you don't want to uh, buy them, listen tomorrow morning right around 840. We'll give you a chance to win here with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. And if you like pumpkins and having fun with your kids, we got a treat for you coming up right after Teddy Swims on WIXX. I took a page out of you. 101 WIXX, Teddy Swims, The Door. It's 8.55 with Huggy, Natalie, and Corey. The chill is in the air, 38 degrees right now. Going to be a high of 49 today. And it is definitely Halloween season, which is a good thing if you love this time of year. And I, we kids get into this so much. And Titletown has this really awesome event coming up this weekend. Hannah from Titletown joins us in the studio. Hannah, tell us about Pumpkin Palooza. Yes, this Saturday, Pumpkin Palooza, presented by H.J. Martin and Son, is taking place. Um, we've been doing it for a few years now, and we're excited to bring it back. We keep adding more and more elements um, and bringing back some favorite things, too. So we're excited to have it this Saturday. What are the favorite things? My personal favorite yes. things, pumpkin carving, of course. Um, it's really cool. So we allow the community to come in and carve pumpkins to contribute to a display. Um, and we always do pumpkin palooza the day before a game. So the display then gets shared with thousands of fans who walk through Titletown nice, for game nice. day. Um, but you get to pick your own design. We have pre-cut designs if you want to follow just one of our patterns. We um, we provide the supplies to do all the carving. It's by far one of my favorite pieces of it. Is do you it have BYOP? Bring- right. No, we have... <laughs> We have thousands of peas. We got lots of pumpkins ready to go. <laughs> nice. So those are all getting delivered um, this week. So we'll be ready to go for Saturday. And mm-hmm. you, we have everything provided for you. Yeah. you That's were, a lot. Yeah, you were talking about taking Atlas to a pumpkin patch. Maybe this is the best thing. This could be it. Now, I saw that you also do trunk or treat. Yes. Uh, can anybody get signed up to participate in that? Yes. So mm-hmm. registration's closing pretty quick here. If you still wanted to participate, we do ask a lot of local and nonprofits um, just to make sure that we can do a proper background check and be able to um, approve you to be on our space to to hand out some candy for everyone. Um, and Fun. it's really cool because in conjunction with the truck retreat, we have touch a truck and even some of the trucks coming in are going to be handing out candy. So Lots it's a combination. Truck. Yeah. Good question, Natalie. I thought you'd ask that since you got a, you got a trunk, you want to come and participate. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of peas. <laughs> uh, there's also, it looks like live music, carnival games, character artists. Now I'd be interested to see what a character artist does of all three of us. All three of us? Oh, that would be great. Yeah. That would be great. Well, I hope it gives you big teeth. It's going to give Corey just his neck. <laughs> wow. That's the only, that's the only thing that fit on the paper. <laughs> My head's already gigantic. I don't I, think it'd make it much bigger. Yeah, all right, and, Hannah. So what time does this all start? Yeah, so this all starts at 10 a.m. and goes until 4 p.m. So... If you want to eat lunch and come, or if you want to squeeze in some pumpkin carving and activities before lunch, um, otherwise we'll, we will have some um, food and beverage specials um, available too. So if you want to eat lunch with us, you're more than welcome to, so you don't miss out on the action. Um, so we're really excited for it. Lots of fall, just really getting into to the fall season, and it feels like it. But if I'm correct, it looked like decent weather this yes. weekend, so we're happy mm. about that. I don't want to jinx anything, um, but we definitely encourage costumes. It's really cool and a really fun event. Oh, this costumes weekend and, fun. And the, uh, what's the cover charge here? Yeah, none. 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 Free. 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 So bring Free for me. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this Saturday, Pumpkin Palooza at Titletown. Hannah, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Huggy, Natalie, and Corey.